Keith Myers here again with Adrian. We're going to cover one of the drills we used. You could call it a set play, you could call it uh, an engagement set, you could call it a short form, but it's kind of a flow, a set flow that has, well, what, again, what Keating has called in the past a logic chain, and we'll show you the logic of it. But if we were just going to do it in the air, it's from ready position, I snap up to here, I cut across, I thrust, and comma cut. So again, I'm snapping up to the block, cutting across, thrust, and comma cut. This first part I call the shield block, which we can practice independently. The second part I call the backstop, which is going to be a part of a lot of different techniques you'll see as we go through these videos. The backstop, and then this is thrust and comma cut. Okay? So let's talk about the shield first. The shield is this block for anything coming on that forehand strike angle. And what I'm doing is, as I lift my blade, I'm turning it and I'm bracing my thumb against the blade. I'm not meeting edge to edge, I'm meeting my flat to his edge, braced with my thumb. And this hand comes up and braces my forearm, but I keep my hand back so it's not part of a target. So this is a very solid position, it's a shield. He could be swinging a heavy stick and I should be able to stop it if I've got a big enough blade here, right? The problem with meeting edge to edge is number one, it chews up your edge, and number two, each of us, our edge could ding just enough that our blades will stick and it won't flow through and it kills the flow. It'll, it'll stop just momentarily and I don't want that because unlike a stick where he may be doing a blow where he hits and retracts, that's usually not the case with a big knife. Somebody is usually doing this big ass slash at you, this caveman, Ugh! and that's what this intended for. It's this slash that's going to carry through, not necessarily this, but the slash that carries through. So we want it to carry through, right? We want that to go right past him. Because as I go past, here's where my opening is that we're going to follow up to, right? Makes sense, right? The most common kind of blow, a big slash, is what we're defending against, and going to the opening that's left behind. But this, this, this block, the shield block, I can do it here, I can do it here, I can do it up here. It's just something's coming at me, and it's kind of like an oh shit move. I'm here. And I've got to be able to do this quickly, right? So he's, he's throwing it, right? Pow. Pow. So even if he's not going to slash through, it doesn't matter what he's doing, I'm covering that angle. Boom. He could be throwing it lower. Boom. Boom. But I'm meeting it. This is my shield. And I can catch a hard blow this way, as you can tell. And I'm, I'm here, I'm not reaching out. If I reach out, there's always the danger that his arc is just going to carry through and still get me. So it has to be relatively close. Right? This hand is bracing, so I've got a nice solid support. But I'm not doing this where he's going to swing through and cut me. It's out of the way. Boom. So again, if you look at it straight on, this is the distance and the angle. You can cover here, cover here, cover here. And that's one thing we practice, just like we did. Just stand there and feed those cuts and practice being able to catch them. And part of the accuracy, too, is people tend to get fixated on their own hand. And so you start out with a glove because the person blocking may not be tracking right. And he's thinking of blocking with his hand instead of his blade. And so he's putting his hand right in the way of my strike instead of his blade. So... It takes some, some practicing to get that motor set. Then when it's coming at me, I'm not reaching out at hand level. I'm reaching out where it's meeting my blade, so not my hand. So wear a glove when you're first starting out learning this. The second piece I call the backstop. Anytime somebody has swung past like that, they're in this position with their arm crossed in front of you, they're in a vulnerable position. And you don't want them to be able to come back. So the backstop is this very quick cut and a check that's the backstop and once i've got him there you can see i've got him in a very off balance vulnerable position for whatever follow-up i want to do but the backstop is simply this that's a backstop and it's going to come in in a lot of places in this particular case he swung at me boom he swings past before he can reverse direction i'm cutting and checking that and then 
my blade is floating up here, so what's the, where is he open? Is right here, so the natural thing to do is the thrust, and if I'm going to thrust him, I can turn and comma cut out across that biceps, and I'm gone, right? So the whole thing is like this, boom, thrust, back cut, or cross, uh, comma cut, shield, backstop, thrust, comma cut, right? Okay, now I don't have to do each piece in the flow, but I can still do the flow. In other words, in another video, we talked about the snapback as a defense, and the snapback was just getting the upper body out of the way. So you snap back and come forward, right? That's the snapback. My arm comes up just so it's not a target, it's out of the way, and then it snaps forward again. So rather than doing a shield block, I can defend with a snapback, just get out of the way. And this is what I would do. This is what I would do if I had a smaller blade in hand. Right? Because I'm not going to block with this tiny little blade. It's not going to work with a Navaja or a tactical folder. So instead, as he takes this slice at me, I'm going to get out of the way, but I'm still doing, as I snap back, I do the backstop. And I can still do the rest. So here I just get out of the way. Get out of the way. Right? So that's how I do it with the Navaja. Now, let's say I get out of the way and I'm too far away to reach him with the slash. I still do the motion and I still get the check. Boom. So I just skip the slash part. I skip the block. I skip the slash. But there's my, my check, my backstop. And then I do the rest. Let's say I'm so far away. Boom. It's not practical to get the thrust, so instead I go right to the comma cut. From this position, I just cut. So I could be far enough away, just like that. I get out of the way, here's my check, and cut. But it's still the same, same flow. It's just a matter of which part of it actually makes contact, really. So it's got multiple options out of one simple flow pattern. Now I can use various footwork, too. If I go back to this, I can block, and now as he swings past, I can step in with my backstop. I can block, backstop, step in with the thrust. I can block, backstop, thrust, and step out with the comma cut. I can even step back with my block and step back forward here and do the rest. So you can play with kind of various points in the footwork to do this. But again, this simple set flow from a ready position, shield block, backstop, thrust, comma cut. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 So again, play with that one. It's a very nice logical flow pattern.